side. So we're trying out the maiden voyage of our rotisserie. As you can see, I did not bolt it to my ugly drum smoker. I didn't want to drill any holes or anything like that in it because uh, I want to see how good it works. So this is trimming from a brisket um, and uh, you know the big chunks, uh, meat, not just fat, mostly meat. And uh, I just want to see how it worked. So trial number one. And we're a half hour in and it looks like this is cooking on really nicely. Looks like maybe I need to adjust how big I make my fire the next time. So it's already starting to bark over and crust over on the edges, but I'm kind of a fan of that. So I'm probably gonna give it another 15, 20 minutes and start probing the inside to see what our internal temperature is. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down with some spritz, Worcestershire sauce, apple cider vinegar and water, just to keep it nice and moist. another half hour and man that thing is looking absolutely awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and probe it and see what our internal temperature is I'm willing to bet we're done or this is done I'm gonna get it pulled off and I'm going to set it in on a metal pan and let it rest before we test it out so I've let this rest for about 15 20 minutes and I'm gonna take a bite out of it this is I mean we're gonna chop this up and use it for chopped beef I didn't put anything on it but SPG, a little salt, pepper, garlic, uh, and uh, I did marinate it in Worcestershire sauce overnight. Spread it with Worcestershire sauce, uh, apple cider vinegar, and water. Let's take a bite. Extremely juicy. Good. I mean, it tastes like a brisket, but it tastes like a steak. It's very unique being cooked this way. It's gonna be really good chopped up on a sandwich. Just wanna try it out. Thanks for coming on. Drink more water.